another day time for another tutorial so I'm back thank you for checking in and welcome to my channel so today we'll be creating a very simple poster design as always in Photoshop and in this tutorial I'll try to cover some of my tips and tricks that I usually apply while doing my client work I hope this will be very helpful to you guys to improve your design sets and if you want to get this PSD file and support me on my patreon then my patreon link is in the description list below and if you are new to this channel and haven't subscribed my channel yet then please do subscribe my channel so with that note let's dive into the video so here we are in Photoshop and first thing first let's create an artboard so for that go to file click on new and I will just go with 4x5 resolution to 300 color mode to RCB bitrate to 16 and let's keep the rest as default and let's click on create so I downloaded some of the backgrounds from onsplash.com and I already made a selection so it's uh, pretty easy so select this layer go over here add a quick selection and just drag and make a selection and then let's create a layer max so this is how I made all my PNGs so let's drag and uh, drop this image right over here and let's convert it as a smart object Control T let's make it a little smaller and let's keep it just like so and then let's drag and drop uh, this uh, mountain image right over here and let's keep it under this layer and again let's keep it a little down somewhere like that and let's make it a little smaller Control T and let's add some rotation or right click let's add some warp or yeah let's and let's drag and drop another uh, image so let's see it's this one let's drag and drop right over here and again let's uh, convert it as a smart object Control T and then let's move it a little up let's make it a little smaller uh, let's add a little rotation and then same thing let's add a little warp right click warp let's hide some of these parts just like so and yep let's keep it like that and let's and let's go on the very uh, top layer and let's create a layer max go to brush and let's go for uh, a soft rounded brush and let's erase some of these hard edges so it blends with the background so yep, just just like that yep. control T again let's do a warp let's fix this part yep just like so and then and let's create a one more layer go to press and let's go for a kind of lighter color something like something similar to our background image so select this one and let's add some kind of environmental effect right over here Again, let's drop down the opacity just like so and let's erase some of these parts just to give some randomness yeah just like that and let's create a one more layer on top and with the same brush selected and with the same color let's add some yeah, environment right around here too and let's drop down the opacity just like so then let's drag and drop uh, this main player image right over here Control T let's make it a little smaller and yeah, let's keep it maybe right around here yep, just like so and let's make a uh, copy of this uh, background image Control J let's move it on top and click on layer max go to brush and let's erase uh, some of these parts 
and now let's create a one more layer right click let's create a clipping max and go to brush and let's go for a brighter lighter white color and let's make it a little smaller and let's add some age glow right over here just like that maybe some right over here right around here and then yep so if you're doing the client project make sure you make a perfect selection and now let's create a one more layer go to edit go to fill and let's go with 50% gray and let's change the blending mode to soft light and then you know what let's keep it above this layer go to go over here and let's add some uh, dots so just like so I'm just adding more extra dots just like that maybe right around here too and maybe some more on side edges just like so and let's add some burn on the shadows part just right over here maybe some over here and maybe right around here too yep just like so now let's do a simple color correction for this player image so select this layer go to filter and let's go to camera raw filter and then let's go to basic tab let's uh, drop down the highlights let's increase the shadows let's increase the clarity increase the texture and go to color mixer tab and for the saturation let's drop down the saturation for orange just a little bit and let's change the hue to more toward red just like so and for the red Yep, let's keep it less something like that and for now let's uh, keep it like that for now and anyway we can tweak it later anytime later so just click on ok and for this background layer uh, let's add a hue and saturation and let's click on clip to layer and let's drop down the saturation just like so and let's do the same thing for other layer so go over here add a hue and saturation click on clip to layer and let's drop down the saturation just like that and let's do the same thing for this background too so go over here hue and saturation and now let's add a background cloud image right over here let's keep it under this layer control T and then let's move yep let's keep it something like that and for this one let's uh, move it a little down let's keep it like that and then let's uh, go over and very top create a new layer go to brush and then let's go for a fog brush so go over here and add some fog right over here create a new layer again let's add some and let's decrease the opacity and again same thing for this one let's drop down the opacity just like so let's go to the very bottom one create a new layer and then let's drop down the opacity just just like so and let's add some blur on the background so select this uh, mountain layer go to filter let's go to blur gallery and let's apply a fill blur and let's change the blur pixel to maybe around 
8 looks good to me let's click on ok and then let's do the same thing for another layer so select this one go to filter let's go to fill blur gallery and let's apply a fill blur again and for this one let's drop down the blur pixel to around 6 and let's click on ok and let's go to this background uh, layer go to filter let's go to blur gallery and let's add a tilt shift and let's change the blur to maybe like around 24 and then let's change the blur point to maybe somewhere around here you know like I think it's a little too much yep let's keep it like that and let's click on ok and for the very background cloud image select the layer go to filter and let's add a blur fill blur and yep I think this looks good to me and let's click on ok and now let's go on very top and let's add a color lookup and from here click on load and I'll just go with my cine lot so select this one and click on load so this is what we got and again let's create a one more layer go to brush and let's add some glow right around here and maybe let's drop down the opacity just like so and again let's add one more and then let's change the blending mode to soft light and let's uh, erase some of these parts so I don't want those over here maybe over here it's too much and let's drop down the opacity some more and even for this one too I think it's a little too high and uh, for the background I think it's a little too much over here too let's erase some of these parts let's add a one more layer go to brush and let's change the color to kind of darker color and let's add some right over here and let's drop down the opacity just like so let's go to the eraser tool and let's erase some of these parts and now let's add a texture on the very top so go over here let's drag and drop this texture image right over here and let's change the blending mode to screen and let's drop down the opacity just like so let's create a layer max go to brush and let's erase some of these parts over his face but still i want to keep those texture tint uh, over here too and let's make you know let's make it a little smaller first yep and then let's erase some of these parts and again let's drop down the opacity some more yep just like so and let's merge everything Control shift alt and e and let's blur some of uh, the edges. so go to blur tool and let's add some blur just like so and maybe from here too yep just like that and let's add some text And now again let's merge everything ctrl shift alt and e let's go to filter let's go to camera raw filter and let's do a final color touch up so let's go on the very bottom let's go to effect tab let's add some grains just like so let's add a vignetting and on the basic tab let's increase the clarity just a little bit it's the texture too 
and let's click on OK. So that's the final and I hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.